Hi. Can you say hi to your Chinese friends? Uh, to everyone who listens in China, thank you so so much for listening, and uh, so happy to be here. Yeah, can you say hi to me? Hi, <laughs> nice to meet you. Right. Thanks for having me. So the first question is like, your audience is diverse and international, right? Right. Yeah, including many of them here in China. Uh, how do you feel your music connects with listeners from different cultural backgrounds? Right, I'm I'm really not sure what it is. All I know is I'm very lucky. I'm very grateful to have you yeah. know fans all over the world. Um, and the place where I least expected it was in China. I was really surprised when I started my SoundCloud account in like, like 2017. Yeah. And um, I didn't tell anyone about it. And I would get you know comments here and there. And then I would get some in Chinese too, which I thought was really strange because yeah. I never expected it. You know. I used to be working at a hospital at the time, and um, I mean, I'm not Chinese. I don't know Chinese, so yeah. uh, I did have a couple of coworkers who were Chinese, and I would bring them the comments on my phone, and I would be like, "Can you read this for me? I, I don't know what it says, but yeah, please, like, yeah, tell yeah, me what yeah. you're saying." You know, and they would say really supportive messages, like, "I love this song," or "I love how it sounds." Um, Come to China, like things like that. And uh, six years later, like, I'm finally here. So yeah. Uh, reflecting on your discography, yeah. how has your music evolved over the years and what creative direction are you interested in exploring next? Man, I feel like you never really stop learning how to produce yeah. music better and better. Yeah, actually on your last yeah, album. Yeah, for right. sure. Um, there's like, there's always more gear to get. There's always a better way to learn how to record something. And there's no rules, which is like what's so interesting about making music. Like you can record um, like, you know, my song Touch off of Gabriel, that yeah, piano, yeah, yeah. that's recorded with my iPhone. Oh. Like that wasn't with microphones or anything. So I, I like put it on top of my piano and that's the same piano that you hear in the song. Um, and that's all to say like, it, nothing matters, you know, you can, you can break walls if you want to. If it sounds cool, it sounds cool. So like, do you have like specific, like which style you want to make? Like, like in, the, in future, the future, I mean, I'm doing it with my second album now, yeah. but um, I'll keep it a secret for now. Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Uh, is this your first time in Shanghai? This is my first time in Shanghai, yeah. I really, really like it. It's been a lot of fun. The uh, city's huge. It's beautiful. The skylines are incredible. I'm staying on like a super high floor in the hotel. Like, oh, yeah. It's super fancy and everything, so it's really nice. What does your ideal Christmas look like? My ideal Christmas? Yeah. Uh, I guess it's, uh, it looks like spending time with family, you know, taking it easy, um, opening presents together Christmas Eve is usually how my family did it. Um, we would open presents together on Christmas Eve and Christmas morning. Um, Christmas Eve was with my grandparents and my extended family, and then Christmas Day was with my direct family, so, um, honestly my best Christmas was like opening up my Xbox when I was oh, like, yeah, 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 Xbox 360 sure. in like sixth grade, you know, that's, I, I want to do that every year. So, and how do you like? typically like to spend a holiday season uh drunk probably let's, let's yeah. go yeah. Uh, what's your favorite christmas song could you sing a bit uh i won't sing it but probably um it's i think it's called the christmas song okay. it's either that one or like the charlie brown piano jazz one like for me like probably like mistletoe mistletoe yeah, yeah. Just, just bieber. by justin bieber yeah. yeah it's a good song you embarked on an inspiration journey, mm -hmm. uh, transitioning from a career that might be more traditionally approved right. by Asian parents right. Right, to becoming a successful musician. Right. Uh, many young talents with Asian heritage face a similar struggle. For sure. Between pursuing their dreams and meeting societal ex right. ex expectations, right. uh, what challenges did you face during this transition? And what advice would you give to uh, aspiring artists in a similar position? Right. I have to be really careful whenever I talk about this because I don't want to be irresponsible yeah, and yeah. just telling people to like quit everything, go go do it. All, all I will say is that um, when I worked in the hospital, um, I saw a lot of people um, grow old with regrets and I knew that that was something that I didn't want to have. Yeah, and, uh, no, yeah, I mean, it's the truth. and. Um, I felt like I could give it a shot for at least a year. That that was what. So that that's like your yeah. main point too. Right. That was what convinced music, right? me to. I was like, it's only I'm gonna try it for a year. If it doesn't work, I'll go back. 
but um but things work out um yeah somehow luckily things worked out yeah so how, how's your parents like they, they, they get it now yeah they're totally cool now um but my, if, yeah at first did you did, did yeah my dad my dad thought that i didn't appreciate the opportunity that i'd been given yeah you know being from an immigrant family coming from vietnam over to the united states um he was basically saying like anyone would kill for a college degree and a stable job like i should just be happy with you know what i had but i feel like my parents immigrated from vietnam so that i could go and chase my dreams yeah and uh thanks to them you know i'm here now so yeah yeah they're happy for me now they're great what can we look forward to from keshi in the new year are there any new plans or new project for the future that you could share with us yeah i think fans can be excited for a bit of a new sound yeah um single right or yeah i mean hopefully a single would come out um not sure which songs will be the singles quite yet but uh i have more music than i've ever had waiting to be released so so what about like big project i i know like yeah you, you you're making new album right yeah right i am making a new album right now um i just i just want to keep it close to my chest for now you know i just don't want to talk too much about it so this album is more like your solo project or you have um to be determined oh yeah, yeah. sure merry, merry christmas, christmas everyone, everyone.